All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, no, put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoop doo shoop doo About my brothers and me, we don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers, we might follow different dreams, we might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums, we might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. Life may prove anywhere the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose a lover and leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. But we're brothers. Shoot to life. Good. Yeah, that's oh, good. It's funny. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, no, this is a course catalog. I'm trying to decide what classes to take next semester. Do they offer a course called Finding a Rich Man Who'll Take You Away From All This and Put You in a Volvo? <laughs> Would I be sitting here? I gotta think. Hello, pea pickers. <laughs> Kelly, I think I've met the man of my dreams in yoga class. He's smart, he's gorgeous, and he's a contortionist. <laughs> He'll literally bend over backwards for you. Oh, jeez. Hey, Penn, decide on a course yet? I don't know what to take. I'm pulling a C average in junior college, but I need at least a B to get into Temple. Boy, I'd like to see you go to Temple. Temple? You gonna convert? <laughs> Just let me say this about circumscription. It is very painful. <laughs> but I think especially so for a woman. She's talking about Temple the University. <laughs> I remember my college years. Raleigh was a beautiful town. There's nothing quite as special as watching a simple magnolia bloom. Yeah, I love those flowers. No, I'm talking about Sal Magnolia. <laughs> Thanks for the memories, Donald, but how am I supposed to take all these hard courses and still keep my grades up? Why don't you take fewer classes at a time? If I start dropping courses, by the time I get into college, I'll be Kelly's age. <laughs> Which is a fine age in itself. Look, Penny, all you have to do is take one easy class and that'll keep your grade average high. Well, this might work. Well, what's a surefire A? Here's one right here. Creative writing. Lou's idea of creative writing is spelling his name in the dark with a sparkler. <laughs> well, this looks interesting. Human sexuality. They teach you sex stuff at school? It's not sex stuff, it's scientific research. You yeah, gotta try that line on flow sometime. <laughs> Wait! I've heard about this class. It's taught by old man Schoenfeld. He doesn't give much homework, and when he does, he forgets about it. Penny, are you sure about this? Yeah. Rumor has it he was held captive on a field trip to a Latin American lesbian guerrilla camp. <laughs> Nobody knows what happened to him in that jungle. But ever since his return, all the women in his classes get A's. <laughs> this is great. Thanks, guys. Donald, what happened? I thought that yoga class was supposed to relax you. Well, I was trying to impress Gary at class, and the next thing I knew, I tied myself into the kind of ball that Gumby could only dream of. <laughs> well, was he impressed? I don't know. I started rolling over and over, and out the door and into the street. The crowd gathered. They cheered. I made seven bucks. Penny, where have you been? I haven't seen you lately. I'm living in a library. Human sexuality is killing me. My grade's slipping like cheap pantyhose. 
Penny, I thought you said your professor was easy. Oh, yeah, Professor Schoenfeld. I got Professor Noel. What happened to Schoenfeld? He died. <laughs> when? First day, right in front of class. I was the last person he spoke to. He leaned into me, and I, I remember thinking he was too pale, and his eyes were a little too watery, but he seemed to have the wisdom of the ages. I'll never forget his last words to me. Penny, sit like a lady. <laughs> then he checked out. Well, what did you do? Everything. I panicked. I saw my entire academic career going down the tidy bowl. <laughs> I gave him mouth to mouth. I pounded his chest. I, I loosened his tie, his belt, and several of his fillings. I guess I was in shock. <laughs> They finally stopped me after I dragged his body halfway down the hall of the chem lab to see what they could do. And so now you have Nolan. He's really tough. Oh, yeah. He's hot out of grad school. He's Phi Beta Kappa. Just published a couple of books. He's a real punk. Penny, isn't there any way you can get your grade up? Only if I ace the big paper that's due. I gotta do it. Then you will. Now, what's your subject? I can't think of anything that's really going to knock this guy's socks off. I think the whole idea of studying sex in school is stupid. That's what you got recess for. <laughs> Lou, haven't you taught your daughters about sex? Hey, ain't it enough I got to pay for the wedding reception? <laughs> Maybe that's the subject. How we learn about sex. It's a great idea. Who's first? Well, uh... I learned uh, by following Lou and spying on his dates with Kathy Cracciola. But later I took a more direct approach. Yeah, that's true. We double dated the widow Knudsen and her daughter. Lou said, watch this. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't watch close enough. Big help. Next. <laughs> well, uh... You're a young woman now. I can be honest. <laughs> My first time was a little frightening. But I had a loving partner, and it was her first time, too. We were tentative and alone in a strange hotel. But your mother and I were both teacher and student, and nine months after the honeymoon, you were born. Yeah. Believe it or not, I learned from the horses. <laughs> hey, that's terrific. You learned from nature. Yay, the wilderness fag. <laughs> you go play with an old tire. <laughs> anyway, when I was about 10, Dad took me to Pimlico to see the horses run. And there, the mysteries of reproduction were unveiled to me. You saw two horses, mate? No, I found a magazine in the box seats called New Department Wrestling. <laughs> Do you still happen to have it? I'm missing issue number 15. Guys, this is no good. Look, 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 look. Find out your professor's area of expertise and write about that. It'll make him feel important. Make him feel like a big man. My God, it's so simple. Make him feel like a big man. It's just like dating. 